drawing from the last video, so we're trying to sort of reposition things. You can see there how I can just lock that axis there. Um, and work on individual axis. All I'm doing there is holding down control and selecting the text. And you can see there how I've got individual control of each of the axis. You want to make quite small motions with that. And um, what's quite difficult with this is is we cannot really see any of the locators. So what we might want to do is select the camera. Make this uh, a here. field clip then drop that right down. Maybe make sure it's all set to show. What it should be doing is it should be showing us our little locators, all these little nodes, but at the moment they're all set to scale of none. So let's set these to a scale of 0.5. Now we're starting to see them. Let's make sure that. Yeah, that works. So, really, what we want to do is make sure that these are all sticking. Um, Let's just see where they are relative to the flow. So at the moment, what we kind of want to do is, look in perspective view, we know that these nodes, these invisible pieces, these little dots here, effectively on a flat surface. Now this plane is a flat surface, so let's try to just grab this, maybe change the pivot point, hit D, change the pivot point. And let's try to snap it to the origin there. And let's just maybe try to rotate it to line it up to the origin. See what we get. We might be able to get it exactly perfect, but we might be able to get something that looks halfway decent and something perhaps halfway usable. So it might be a bit help, quite a bit helpful too. But generally, like I say, you would normally use something like PF track or usual bullet or you know, something like that, like a really high end tool for this type of thing. But if you you know you want to learn um it'd be really really useful for, for that kind of thing. Let's see what we get. Let's go back to perspective of the screen. And we maybe just need to like adjust this maybe let's just grab this rotation. Let's go through. It's gonna work with one axis. There we go. Let's see what we get now. See. There we go. That looks much better. Like you know, the axis looks like it's sticking to. Um, so there's been a little bit of manual kind of manipulation with that. So I just thought I'd break it down in a, a separate kind of video. Almost. Um, so really, really easy. So and then what we'll look at the next video is how we can go about integrating things. So now we've got this camera data from After Effects. The sky is pretty much the limit in what you can do. Um, which I think we should have a little bit of fun with. I think what I'm intending to do is for the next exercise um, have a, an oversized bear. Um, maybe having a snowball fight or something from there. Um, yeah, so maybe just big mound of snow and just having a little bit of fun. Okay.